Hi, my name is Anna. I'm in third grade and I go to Our Lady of Grace Catholic School. Hi, my name is Sammy. I'm in sixth grade and I go to Our Lady of Grace Catholic School. classroom setups really haven't changed. Sometimes we try to move the desks into different flexible grouping, but it's hard. It's hard to move and it's hard for the kids to move desks and chairs around and they can't make it a table so everybody can see each other and be around. My desks in my classroom are ancient and they have to take their desk and hold their desk up with their head because it doesn't stay open. And I do honestly, like I get a lot of tears with pinched fingers and you know, closing kids' desks on each other's hands and it, it, it happens a lot actually. The furniture that I have in my classroom today is the same furniture that I had when I was in third grade. The trend I've seen a little bit more recently is kids do need the availability to move around. So um, I just think that they would feel more successful, um, you know, if they had a chair where they could rock in the chair or if it was a chair where, you know, they don't have to sit like this, they could turn around and sit the chair backwards or a standing desk where they could, you know, have their feet moving um, and things like that. Like I have kids who just come up and start walking in the front of the room and, you know, I think students like that just need a chance to kind of move around and, and I'm okay with that if they're doing that, but I think, you know, if they had choices of their best way of learning, that would help. I would see a space where it was really simple for um, the students to move from one activity to another. I would imagine they would have um, storage not in their own desks but they would have shared storage somewhere where they would keep all of their books and everything they needed. I know that um, such furniture exists for schools and it would be so great if we could have really innovative new furniture here at Our Lady of Grace and I know that our children, your children, would really benefit from having furniture that's new and innovative and flexible. It would really help their learning. But wait, there's more! We're doing this also for John Paul II School in Northeast Minneapolis. That's right, our innovative classroom design project isn't just to help our own school, which it will help and help our children to excel, but we're doing this so that we can help John Paul II, the students, the scholars there, excel as well. And so your generosity tonight is a great way to help us to do even more. We really want our children, our students, our scholars to excel academically. Because when they excel academically, they can really become ever better citizens and leaders in our church and our society. And so we want them to do the best that they can. And so your generosity today is going to help John Paul II and Our Lady of Grace do even more. So that we can have a future that's bright, a future that's filled with hope, a future that's filled with academic learning. I want to thank you for your commitment to the gospel and living out the gospel in a way that expresses humility. Because humility is, as our students have been learning this year, the pathway to learning, service, and joy. Thank you for your generosity. May God bless you. And know that your generosity supports and blesses the academic excellence here at Our Lady of Grace and in the inner city of Minneapolis of John Paul II. God bless you.